The burn is going to be so intense, you're going to be crying. Please welcome Mike Lyons. Today I'm going to take you through what I currently do for a complete shoulder workout. Go over the positives and the mistakes that I see um, with a lot of people doing these type of style workouts. Uh, I tend to lift relatively heavy, but it, most of it is volume and I'm going for as much blood as I can get into that particular muscle group as possible. Um, almost to the fact that you can't even ra like raise your arm. With shoulder press, obviously it's, it's always people try to go too heavy. Like right now, I'm just warming up. I'm just going through the motions. Um, as you can see, I'm stopping around mouth, nose area. I'm not going full extension. Keeping the tension on the muscle. I'm always, I'm always a big believer in your body follows your eyes. Like if my eyes go down, and then I all eventually start to rotate after it. So I keep my eyes where my body's going. I want to stay. So if I Hold my chest up, everything up. I look up. And with warm-up sets, just no real rep range. You're just going through the motions. You're just trying to get blood in there. Once you kind of feel everything kind of get warmed up, then you gradually start increasing the weight, but don't hurry into the heavy lifts. Um, people hurry too much. When you're young, it's not gonna bother you. Um, as you start to age and start to get stronger, lift heavy heavy weight um, you're really gonna get some injuries so um, that's where I got mine two rotator cuffs on the left and one rotator cuff tear on the on the right so from a person that has been there done that heed the advice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do side laterals for about 12 15 turn to the side I'm doing front raises single arm go 12 to 15 I'm gonna step on a band and uh, do mobility work. So it's basically up, out, back, and down, all the way to failure. So this is a really good triple set to add into your routine for shoulders. Um, basically, you're ending with very lightweight band work, which is more so for mobility. But you're gonna, the burn is gonna be so intense, you're gonna be crying. So I'm gonna step into it. We'll go over common mistakes and stuff like that as we're going in. Right off the get, a lot of people. I know this machine before, but a lot of people kind of lean into a side lateral. We should be up to the hip. So everything's starting right here. So it's almost like as a bodybuilder, you should be in that front lat phase and everything's in that plane. Everything's straight up. So with this machine, I like putting my hands on the inside. Just personal preference. Because it takes out all of the wrist and any sort of cheating you're gonna do. So, and again, chest up, shoulders back, elbow drive, straight and parallel. Alright, down to side, again, everything's starting at the hip. I don't like to lean in because you're going to start using momentum. So as soon as you get to that spot where you're at the right, right angle, everything's locked. Head down to hip. So it's just up. In here again. Just think about that pouring out the water motion. So your pinkies come up and right in front of the shoulder. Right. I'm using a thin red band. Step on it so there is some slack. In between, it's going to add the tension. I like putting it, again, over the wrist. So, up the shoulder, back, down. And then again, as I said, going to failure. Just concentrate on form. So everything's stopping that shoulder, out, back, down. So it's not, you're not coming up and just swinging into it, which a lot of people do. Stop it for just a split second. Stop, open, close, down. There's more tension, and you're not using momentum to get it moving. Do that for about three or four sets. 
Trust me, the burn's gonna be intense. 